Well, hey, everyone. Welcome back. This is another Thursday's Essentials video. You know, uh, we've talked about how to, to find a book in the Bible, how to how to read the Bible. Do we pray it, ask what it says, what does it mean, what do I do, and then pray again. Uh, today, we're going to look at what we can use to dig deep and to get out what we need. You know, I had some bushes in front of my house, and, and they were supposed to be about six feet, but we didn't really take care of them all that well, and so they became seven, eight, 12, 15 feet tall, like bigger than our roof uh, at, our, at our old house, and and so we could take shovels and kind of dig at it and, and get a little bit at it and and you know break up some roots and it was just but we actually had one bush we tried to do this too and it just kept coming back and we, like it won the battle but then we had a friend and he had this machine that came you know it like took up our whole yard and had this big hook on the front he walked uh, drove it right up and within like 30 seconds ripped out three of these it was amazing and so he had the right tool to dig deep and to get out what we needed to get out Today, I'm going to give you three things that you can use to dig deep into the word and to get out of it what you need to get out to grow like Christ and to be dependent on his spirit to walk like Christ. So those three are a concordance, a cross-reference, and a study notes. So you have most of these already at your disposal. So in your Bibles, you know, I have a study Bible right here. So in a study Bible, I can pick it out and I can turn to a passage of scripture when I turn to a passage, I see little letters uh, on there above words in the in the Bible passage. Those are cross references at the bottom here. They're, they're they're study Bible notes. And at the very back of almost every one of your Bibles has what we call a concordance. And so at the back, you see the concordance here where it gives you like a word and then will tell you, hey, this is where you can find that word all throughout the Bible. So those are the three. And I pull out my Bible study software because I wanted to show you what that looks like. Your cross references, we look at Luke 24, 36, we can see there's a C here, you know, on your screen, you see the C. And uh, when you see that, you can click on it. Uh, if you have Bible study software like I do, or you just look it up. And it'll point, it'll be somewhere like the middle of your Bible, the side, you know, on, on my Bible over here. Uh, the cross references are all down here on the, in like the, the right hand side on the bottom on every page. On other places, they're all down the column. For your Bible, you have them somewhere. You just have to look for them. Uh, but see that C on there by the word Jesus points to Mark 16 and John 20, 19. A cross reference just shows you other places in the Bible where you see this topic being talked about and you can get a fuller picture of what the word's saying. As a concordance gives you like a list of words and you can find it all over the Bible, a uh, cross-reference shows you where this topic or this word or this idea is talked about all over. So this is Jesus appearing to his disciples. Well, if you click on C or, or if you look it up in your Bible, uh, Mark 16 and John 20, that's the other places where the same narrative kind of happens. And Jesus appears to his disciples and gives this great calling to go tell the world about the forgiveness of sins through Jesus. Well, and you also have study notes. And so in your study notes, you can look down and you can see things like uh, in verse 45 or verse 44, he says, these are my words. I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Okay, what does all that mean? So I can go down here and look at my study notes. Well, verse 44 says, my words, those are referring to Jesus' teaching and sending his death and resurrection. I and mean, you can even see it'll say sometimes like, see the note on 921 and 22. So it'll point you back to other places and see more notes. And so it's man's uh, commentary on what the Bible says. And so you get experts on, on the text and they know the Greek and the Hebrew and the history, and they can add to it and really help you dig deep. And you say, well, I don't have a Bible study software. I don't have a Bible study. Uh, but if you have the internet, and I know you do because you're watching this, uh, you can go to a website like uh, this website that we use called Bible Hub at times. So you can type it in here and you can say, you know what, Luke 24, 44, I'm going to look that up. And it'll put in all these different translations across the top of your screen here that I'm looking at, it'll put all those verses, that one verse, sorry, in all these different translations. You can see how they all have it written out. Or you can see all the cross references from that verse and they have them all listed out for you. Or you can see a study Bible that they've loaded on there. Uh, you can see a Strong's Concordance. And so a Strong's Concordance will give you every word that's in that passage. Jesus said to them, these are the words. And it'll give you the word 
in the Greek or the Hebrew, if you're in the Old Testament, and what it means and how it how it plays into this. Uh, you can see Strong's uh, Concordance or Holman's Christian Standard Bible, New American Standard Bible, King James, and how they have all those. You can see parallel verses to where it's the the verse in the ESV versus the NASB versus the CSB or the NIV or the New King James or whatever, and you can see them right beside each other. So I want to give you some tools, and the reason to give you these tools is because it helps you dig deep into the Word to get out of it all that you need to grow like Christ as you are dependent on His Spirit to live like Christ. Hope this is helpful. We'll see you again next week with more Thursday Essentials.